Hello, ahoy, shalom, and good day to you all. Today we are making a backpack for my sister Hannah. I will be making this backpack out of some old pants I wore for many a year. Uh, I no longer wear them anymore, but they get a second life. So that's, that's always fun, right? Here's some black fabric I picked up at a local swap meet. Uh, swap meets are a pretty good place to, to find fabric. Um, I am matching all of the pieces of this project to this black fabric. Uh, and I'll, I'll sew it together and it'll serve to reinforce, uh, reinforce all sides of this bag. And it'll also make the inside of the bag a bit more uniform and eh, professional. More than anything, it's just I don't have enough material to double up all of the panels with the original material, so we'll use that black fabric. Here's my Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machine. It's been uh, quite a good sewing machine. Uh, there, if you saw me chewing, probably some chocolate chips, don't tell anyone. Trying to find the end of that spool of thread, I eventually found it. Uh, I cut out quite a bit of that sequence because it took me several minutes to find the end of the thread. Uh, it's this big pack of thread I got from Amazon, multiple different colors. It's been really good thread and it's useful having all these different colors, but each time it's the first time using this spool of thread, sometimes it, it, it can be a real headache to find the end. Um, but, you know, I always do find it. It just requires some patience, which there's probably a lesson in there somewhere. Uh, speaks broader to just crafting in general. It's a practice of patience. Uh, but anyways, getting back to it. Here I'm sewing in the zipper to this front pocket. This front pocket will be stitched into the front panel of the backpack. Here I'm adding a little flap to cover the zipper. I've seen some other people add this touch on their pockets and I think it just uh, looks really nice. So I figured I would give it a try. Working with zippers is definitely outside of my comfort zone, but you know, I'm getting, getting better at it. Uh, here I'm stitching this front pocket into the front panel. Uh, and I am taking a lot of caution and, and I was manually cranking cranking through the zipper. I've seen some people that just step on their pedal and sew right through the zipper teeth. I don't know how they do that without breaking needles. Uh, I've broken more needles than I want to talk about and I've found the only way to avoid that is just <laughs> going going very slowly and, and hand cranking but uh, it gets the job done and uh, it saves me a needle so for the time being we're gonna gonna keep hand cranking through through the zipper teeth here i am preparing the handles for the bag this is some one inch nylon webbing i want to say uh I'll, I'll link to this in the description as well as all the other uh tools and materials used in this project. Um, I probably won't link to the pants that I'm using because it's probably not the most efficient way to make this bag, but you know, just use any old pants that you have laying around. But yeah, lock in the handles into place. This is a Fjall Raven Konkin uh, design inspired bag as you may be able to start seeing with this handle design. It'll, it'll come into picture later on. But yeah, I think having these top grab handles uh, is quite nice. Kind of allows you to treat the bag like a briefcase, um, at least just for you know picking up and moving around if you're not traveling necessarily. Um, now I'm working on the back panel. If you see, I already sewed in that black uh, reinforcement to the panel. Um, and now I'm adding in these little anchors. This is what the back straps will loop through at the bottom of the bag. Uh, and just working my sewing machine slowly around that little area to lock it into place. 
and now I'm folding over the handle on itself to make it a little more comfortable to grab. And you can see it's starting to come together. I'm taking a lot of caution to line up these handles so that way they meet each other at the same spot. Uh, and again, similar to the uh, Fjall Raven design, I'm kind of looping those straps across itself. I don't know what you call it, pretzel design, but it's, uh, it's nice. It feels good to steal uh, designs from Fjall Raven because they make some, some, some timeless products. So I'm going to continue stealing. Theft feels good. Yeah, just locking these straps into place. And you can see that front panel on the table is uh, coming along. You see that uh, pocket was stitched in the straps. And now we're gonna work on the zipper into the main compartment. And just attaching the fabric carefully to each side of the zipper and then I'll I'll sew it into place and commence sewing sounds. Yeah, I think I might have broken a needle there. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I didn't. Um, also for this project, this was my first time using the zipper foot on my sewing machine. Uh, the sewing machine came with a few different zipper attachment, uh, a few different um, foot attachments and the zipper foot, as you would guess, works pretty well when you're sewing a zipper. Um, and there I was just ironing down this panel. This makes putting the top stitch in a bit easier. Uh, something that's tricky about fabric is, you know, obviously it tends to bunch or it may not lay flat. I, I think working with thicker materials like leather is uh, comes a bit more naturally, at least for me, but yeah, this is good practice, working with more materials, working with zippers, connecting things in ways that I haven't before. Yeah, it's a work in progress, we're, we're getting better. Here I'm attaching that top zipper panel to what will kind of loop um, around the bottom of the bag. Really the construction of the bag, if you break it down, is a front panel, a back panel, and we'll call it a center panel. Uh, the center panel has the main zipper on it and it's what connects both of the panels together. It gives you the width of the bag. So locking in this loop for the center panel right here and just just working, working through it slowly, trying to get those stitches to, to be straight. You know, the, the patience you take at this part of the project will really pay off in the end. And I say this mostly talking to myself because I know it's easy to, especially at this, this point of the project, uh, really step on that, step on that pedal and just let the, let the stitches fly. But, you know, try and, try and stay composed and take your time. It'll, it'll just result in a, in a better end end result. I said result too many times there, but now I'm now it's ready to attach the center panel to the front panel and I was measuring it out. Obviously, I want the zipper to line up evenly to the panels and this is a part of the project again. It's really about patience. Uh, you want to go slow, especially when you are coming around the corners. Um, yeah, you just have to take your time. And we're sewing the panels uh, inside out to each other so that way when we flip it, uh, all of the seams are hidden. Uh, and something new I did on this project that I've never done before is uh, I added some bias tape, which just hides the, the live edges. Um, you'll, you'll see the bias tape in a second here. And the bias tape definitely make, made the project feel a bit more complete at the end, uh, and that's that's the bias tape right there. Yeah, you just you you stitch it over your your open seams, and just kind of hides hides all the stuff you don't want to see, and probably improves the strength of the seams as well. 
I believe there's an attachment you can get that allows you to install this bias binding uh, much easier. Uh, at least you'll have a much easier time installing it, I think, if you have the right attachment. I was just kind of freehanding it and ended up being a fairly long and tedious process to install the, the binding tape, um, the bias tape. But yeah, I did it, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I glad I took the time to do it because uh, we don't we don't want loose threads visible. No, no, no. Here I'm flipping the bag inside out, and this is the this is the first look to, to see how we did. And overall, it looks pretty good. But um, here you can see there, I'm probably cursing under my breath. Uh, slight slight hiccup there, just the uh, little cover cover piece wasn't wasn't fully sewn in there but that's okay luckily it was actually a, a fairly accessible spot to add in a few more stitches so we're able to get that fixed and here we are we got a backpack this was a this was a very tricky project I, I'd have to say you know it was time consuming um, not perfect but I'm very happy with how it turned out uh, I think it I, I feel like an improved fabric worker after making this bag. It was easily the most challenging sewing project I've taken on, um, both because of needing to use zippers and attaching all these different panels and probably required the most uh, planning ahead of time to come up with the design for, you know, the size of all the panels and how everything was going to connect, but but we did it. We got a bag and my sister has been getting some use with it, which is always fun to see. And yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. I know the next bag will take a lot less time to make. Um, but you have to have to make this one to get to the next. So there you have it. That's a, it's a recycled bag from some old pants. Have a good one.